Hey, and welcome to Discard. Today I'm going to talk about a few of these different all-in-one stands for the Nintendo Switch. These stands promise to hold the accessories as well as the system and any other doodads that happen to go with your Nintendo Switch. Let's take a look. And the very first one comes from a company called Skywin, and this is their Stand Multifunctional. And that's how it's written on it. I assume that they meant the multifunctional stand. It's also called an organizer on the back side of the box. But really, it's just a stand to hold a bunch of your accessories as well as your Nintendo Switch. Some of the things that are included with this one is that you have the ability to put your dock on it with your Nintendo Switch, and you can also plug that into any power source that you need to with your original uh, charger and all of that, so you won't have to worry about any charging problems. But it also has the ability to hold 12 of your different cartridges as well as two Pokeballs. Having that spot for Pokeballs is kind of a seller for me. I like the idea of them including that in this and thinking that it was popular enough for it to deserve a place inside of their stand. So I really like that idea. The stand itself will actually hold Joy-Con controllers as well, and they mean for you to take them and kind of lay them flat in this box area that's on the top of it. Not kind of an amazing design, but a quick design if you need to grab your Joy-Con and go. This might be a great way to do that. A step up from the way that they wanted you to display and have your Joy-Con controllers is where you put your Pro controllers, which is on the sides. And this is a great place to put them. They don't have them upside down, they're right side up, so you can just grab them and go and start playing. Now into some of the weird things about this is it seems that they want you to put your dock inside of the unit. And that's really odd because traditionally speaking, you take your Nintendo Switch and you put it directly in from the top of your dock and that's impossible with this setup. You'd have to kind of slide your Nintendo Switch in from the left to the right and then insert it into the top of your dock in order to get it into it. And that's just kind of weird. So it seems like they kind of want the dock to just be sitting in here and as opposed to plugged into your television and that you would use your Nintendo Switch as a, uh, a handheld unit and have it just kind of on this little stand that's in the front. Now the stand in the front is fantastic. It holds up your Nintendo Switch awesomely. It's really stiff and strong and there's also a little bit of a, a gap underneath it so you can charge it while you're playing on it. So that's a really good thing if you do plan to play your Switch uh, just off of the Nintendo Switch itself as opposed to playing it on your television. Now the only weird thing outside of that is that they show on the box using Nintendo Switch boxes inside of this thing and they don't really work fantastic. They even in the picture have some laying flat and some laying upwards so it's just a very weird uh, design. They're really not meant for that. I think you would just use this for your Nintendo Switch cartridges and then put your boxes elsewhere. Overall, I think this one is pretty good. It has a lot of those little weird things that it doesn't quite do properly. So I would definitely look towards other ones that are better all-in-ones if that's what you're looking for. Up next is from a company called JYS. This was also from Amazon as well. And it is a multifunctional game control multifunctional game storage tower for the Nintendo Switch. That's definitely a mouthful, but it does exactly what it is supposed to do, and that's house all of your accessories as well as some of your games for your Nintendo Switch. Now the JYS model holds 10 different games in their cases, as opposed to the other one, which was doing it kind of improperly. These fit into little slots and are really nice in there. They're not too tight. It's not holding on to your your boxes or anything like that to damage them. Just a really easy way to slide some games in there and have them displayed or ready to rock. This unit is also made up for what the other one faulted in and that is the dock. The dock goes right on the top of the unit where it should be so that you can take your Switch and place it into it at any time. You can actually use this as a functional device with your television and just keep playing. So this could sit by your television and actually be used for holding your games, controllers, accessories, etc., and still be a functional unit for your Nintendo Switch. Now outside of the dock, it's also holding four different controllers, and that can be the little controllers that hold your Joy-Cons or a couple Pro controllers, but all together you can hold four different controllers, which is quite a bit and more than enough for four different people to be able to play a game at any time. Now the last thing that this 
one will hold is Joy-Con, and unlike some of the other ones that are out there which have a location specific for the Joy-Con, this one has a little drawer at the bottom which is going to be kind of a catch-all for your Joy-Con and your accessories and, you know, thumbstick covers or anything like that. And I will say that this drawer isn't fantastic. It's kind of stiff and hard to open. So getting in there is not the most fun thing. So I would definitely recommend putting stuff in there that you plan to not be using all the time. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna like this one in particular. When I was looking at these pictures of these online, I didn't expect to like any of them. And this one kind of hit it off with me. I like how it's holding those game cases. I like that the dock is on top and I'll be able to use this as a functional unit. It gives me a quick place to grab games from and I always really like that as an option for a game room or whatever. I like to display a lot of things on my shelves, but I always like to have a quick PlayStation somewhere near uh, my television so I can get those games out and get playing them as quick as possible. So the next device will actually charge your Nintendo Switch or your Pro Controller, and it also has a place for the Nintendo Switch dock, so you can of course plug that in as well and have your Switch charging in that. This stand comes from a company called Dobie, which believe it or not, I am familiar with. They do make a few different stands that are out there for Nintendo Switch game cases. But in this case, they've decided to make a charging stand for your Nintendo Switch, a Pro Controller, and a holder for six different Nintendo Switch game cases. So right away, it has a place for your Nintendo Switch and it's gonna be holding your Switch on kind of an angle. At the bottom, it has a connector that goes into your Nintendo Switch so that you can be charging it while you're playing with it and I have used that. It does seem to be charging my Nintendo Switch at the normal rate and there doesn't seem to be any problems there. It also has a place for your Pro Controller to be held upside down so that it is also charging as well. And that's always great to have a place to quickly put a controller and have it charging so it's ready to rock when you need it. And then of course, unlike the first stand that I talked about, this one does have a place for your Nintendo Switch dock so that you can put your Switch in there and charge it and use it with your television and actually make this a useful device. And I think for somebody who's just playing their Nintendo Switch by themselves, they may only need a place for one controller and one dock and one Switch and just a few different games. And this might be just perfect for that person as well as it might just be a great station to have next to your television. It's pretty small, so it's gonna kind of blend into the area. And then you just have six games on standby that you're planning to play. One also weird note that should go along with this Dobie stand is that on the website on Amazon, it actually said this was for Nintendo Switch. And when you get the box, it says for N Switch, N dash Switch. And what they've done is taken a black Sharpie and Sharpied out the part that says Switch. And so I, I imagine that's some sort of trademarking issue or they didn't have the rights to be able to say Switch at all. So they kind of scribbled it out, but it's always a little bit of a worry when people are kind of erasing what this is for. But in the functional part of this, it seems to work really well. So it might be a perfect solution for somebody who has just a few different games, a controller and their Nintendo Switch. Up next is the Fox Novo charging stand for your Nintendo Switch. So you'll notice this is very similar to the Dobie unit. Uh, in a lot of these kind of Chinese models, you'll find a lot of kind of copies or similarities between them because I think a lot of the time people are sharing designs and kind of ripping off each other. Uh, in this instance, I think it's a better design because it allows you to also charge your Joy-Con as well. So altogether, this will allow you to charge your Nintendo Switch up front like it's on a stand, as well as having a dock unit in the back so you can also use it with your television. It's got a place for a Pro Controller and Joy-Cons, and all of those different things have uh, the ability to be charged on this device by using your original charger. And then on the back side, it has four different locations for four different game cases. But interestingly enough, they've kind of utilized the space properly. It's the same size as the Dobe unit, but it seems to be doing more outside of the actual holding of the game cases at the back. Uh, you've got extra spot for your Joy-Cons, and that's fantastic. So you could be charging them as well as charging your Pro Controller. And I know a lot of people kind of mix between the two of those, so that's a great thing as well. And last but not least is the Skywind charging rack. And this one is absolutely the best of the bunch. It does pretty much everything that all of the other ones have done, but I think it does it a little bit better. It still has some downsides, but it's pretty awesome. So one of the first cool features of this one is that it's charging everything on the top side of it. You can take two Pro Controllers and have them plugged in. They're kind of upside down in the top side of this so that they can charge. And you can have both of those charging at the exact same time. It also has 
four different slots. Um, there's a couple different slots here I don't quite understand. They're for Joy-Con, but with kind of like these little NES covers on them. And maybe that's more popular in Japan, or I just haven't seen these other units to attach to your Joy-Cons. Maybe I just don't use my Joy-Con enough but uh, these fit into those slots and will also charge your Joy-Cons there as well as having two other slots for just normal Joy-Cons right next to those. This one also has another attachment for putting your Pokeballs on it and that's a great thing because you can kind of detach this if you don't happen to have those Pokeballs but if you do have them it's a great place to store them and keep them along with all the rest of your Nintendo Switch accessories. Now you'll also notice that this holds a Nintendo Switch game cases and it holds eight different ones of those. The biggest issue with this is kind of understanding how you take them in and out. They slide in from the back side, so this is kind of a 360 device where you'll be getting your games out of the back side of it and you'll have your Nintendo Switch and the Switch dock in the front of it. But as for the dock, the dock itself doesn't seem to have a spot, but there is a little drawer at the bottom and you pull it out and put your dock on top of that and that'll allow you to plug that into your television and use it as a great place to charge your Nintendo Switch. And on the side of the unit, you also have a couple different stands to hold a couple extra pro controllers or the little controller that holds the Joy-Cons or that kind of thing. So altogether, you can have four different pro controllers attached to this at one time, which is a lot of pro controllers. And when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, I only ever have like a maximum of three different games on deck to be used or played. So this is going overboard, but it's always good to have more more games around and more games ready to rock and it's not taking up that much space so eight different games is nothing to snuff at. So thanks for coming to check out Discard today. If you have any other ideas for displaying Nintendo Switch items, please leave them in the comments below. I am always looking for more ideas. If you're looking for more ideas, you can always check out the Discard playlist for display ideas and I have a bunch of Nintendo Switch display ideas in there. If you want to help out Discart pass a subscription, please check out patreon.com slash Discart and check out all the awesome stuff you can get for $2 a month. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. But otherwise, have a great day and collect what you love.